all and welcome to Zlane channel. In this video, I translated a full agility attribute guide from Korea Forum which shared by Asura. If you guys are interested to have a look on the original forum, please feel free to click on the link in the descriptions down below. The first one we will talk about is the stat. For full agility archer by default is all in into agility and this is an easy build if you compare to others drop. Full agility means focus build on physical attack accuracy rate and attack critical rate. There are some packs that are require more charm to tame. However, agility archer does not need to build charm as we can increase our charisma by the alternative way such as the tier 4 armor which add a 15 charisma and we can also add charisma by adding food of charisma and stack up with the seductive perfume. The second topic will be on the skill build. In 2.1, it shows the priority skills of an agility archer should focus when level up the beginner skills to intermediate. Enchanted Arrow is the first recommended skill as it has a short cooldown and mainly used for farming and PK, which got its short come in second skills to focus on as it has the stun effect. In 2.2, the first recommended skills is the hard hit. As when upgrading the intermediate skills to quality skills, it requires class specific essence, therefore, hard hit is the first skills to up as it only requires common essence, and common essence do not need any class crystals to craft, but only the normal crystal. Please note that to craft the class essence, you will need to purchase the recipe book from the skill master and please check the link in the descriptions down below for more information on how to obtain the recipe book. In the advanced mode, slow arrow decrease the opponent attack speed even further, so if you are someone who enjoy PK, it is recommended to up after the enchanted arrow. The scattered shot and the inferno also have slightly wider ring compared to the intermediate level, so it is recommended as the next upgrade. Wind Eyes is recommended as the last skills as the critical damage increase rate is low. But if you are someone who enjoy farming, you could focus on this skills as it increases from 5% of movement speed to 9%. The table below summarizes the estimated price of the skills crystal required to raise quality skills and the cost of crafting general skills books into at one skill books. One thing to take note is that the price in your server might be different from the chart below, so therefore this is just for a referencing purpose only. The third point will be the skill setting. Scattershot is uh, the first one that we should put into the skill list and followed by the hard hit, inferno, enchanted arrow, etc. However, you may also follow the above skills for more damages and please note that the order actually used skills at the Ragus outskirt which is still not available in the global server. So the fourth point is on the sculptures. 4.1 shows farming set up to Tumlin and you can see that there are 5 sets here and if you only have 4 sets, uh, you could also choose either to have the rabbit, the fox deer, xp set or if you have the tara a, you can go for the glue bean, tara a, dolphin set for the xp plus go acquisitions. And continue with the farming set up to Tumlin, we have the floor sculptures 
like rabbit, Russian man, dragon shark, and plus sun or fisherman. The above sculpture placement is more towards to farming. If you are dying a lot uh, with the above sculptures, so you could actually remove the item acquisitions and replace with the HP set. In 4.2, it shows the farming set to which applicable to the map of the timeline. So the auto here using the rabbit fox steel XP set and the globe in Tara Edofin set for the XP plus go. And the auto also used the HP set, attack speed and the attack power. And the next one will be the floor set. So for the floor sculptures, it focuses on the Arzo Wyrant, the Cisapian Griffin, Harmonious Family Award Naga, Water Spirit Knight, and Roshimi Dragon. And please take note that the Harmonious Family Award sculptures is not in the Global Codex yet. As the map are getting harder, we need better HP and the recommendations by the order are as follow. And 4.3 is just basically for the PK um, it's the same set being set for the heat and dodge, lion golden fiora roshime for the attack power, sun salmon for the HP, eagle leopard pina for the attack speed, cube. Golden Unicorn Sea Serpent Shark for the attacks. As for the PK Floor Sculpture set, we have the Azure Wyvern, Sea Serpent Griffin, Harmonious Family Ward, Naga, Eagle, and Buffalmut. Please take note that the Harmonious Family Ward Sculptures is not in the Global Codex yet, and the setting of PK varies depends on uh, who is your opponent, so you might need to change from time to time depends on what kind of build you would like to have in the PK itself. So here is the item number 5 for equipment settings. The order actually have two different builds for the uh, equipment itself, but I believe that right now it's not that useful to us and uh, so the item that I explained it into the English is actually much more focus on the tier 4 so if you would like to roll your equipment focus on those build there and you can see that on the helmet piece we have the poison resistance and the fire resistance and if you have any poison resistance or fire resistance option stones please lock it because it is useful for the future map and the crafting for the t4 sequence is as below as well and point number six is the rate. So the order recommends that we go for the rate that we need the material for tier four crafting and item seven on the strength and weaknesses. So this will be the end for this video. So if you like the content, please thumbs up and click on the subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.